Hi, Jim Dowdles again. Uh, this is week two, and this is part two of our representational drawing, charcoal drawing. Uh, last week, we worked on the initial gesture block-in construction drawing. It was 15 by 18, and that's the size that we're going to stick with for our final. Our first step in the process is going to be to transfer it to art paper. Now, as far as the art paper is concerned, I'd like you to use a, a mid-value neutral paper. Charcoal paper would be perfect. Um, I've got a piece of Canson paper that's just as good, I think. Um, I like them both. So I'll give you a choice there, either one. Okay. We'll talk about uh, trimming it down and that later. So I want to take another piece of tracing paper first. This is a clean piece of tracing paper, and I want to put it directly on top of my gesture construction drawing and I'm going to redraw this um, in the same color, different color, it doesn't really matter, but I want to make sure that I also include this red format line around the outside that's already there from within my construction drawing. Okay. So the first thing that we're going to talk about now is adding the tone to the back of the, of the uh, contour line drawing after I've done that and then we'll transfer. So now I'm going to prepare my drawing for the transfer process. I've got my contour line drawing with my outline, my format outline in red and what, how I'm going to do this is I'm going to turn it upside down. This is the contour line drawing. All right, I'm going to take another piece of tracing paper, put it directly on top. This is a little bit smaller cut to a little bit smaller than my original tracing paper drawing, so I can easily tape it down. I'm going to tape it in about four, four different places here. Probably a good idea to keep the tape off the red line, the red outline, as much as possible so you can see through. And then I'm going to put, this is the messy part, and that's why I've got a piece of white paper on here. I'm going to take some compressed charcoal, not vine or willow, compressed, and I'm going to put it everywhere. So I finished putting the compressed charcoal on the back of the drawing everywhere. And you've got a couple of choices now, but you want to keep it, it's going to sound funny, fairly clean. You don't want a lot of dust to end up on your drawing. So you're going to have to rub that charcoal in. I suggest your finger, or I'm wearing a glove and I can use the glove and rub it in really good. And you want it to stick into the paper, the paper texture. There's not a lot of texture on this tracing paper, but there's enough to press it into. And then get rid of the excess. Take it over the trash can and get rid of it. We don't really need registration points, registration marks for this. I've done this different ways in the past. We just need to be sure that the whole drawing, and then remember that's the drawing that's upside down with a piece of tracing paper taped to the back of it. The reason we do that is because if you didn't put a separate piece of tracing paper behind your drawing, you wouldn't see your drawing. You could, look, you can still see your drawing fairly easily well. So if you put the charcoal on the back of the drawing, you wouldn't see your drawing at all. You can imagine what that would look like, okay? So once you rub it in and get rid of the excess, you're ready to transfer, but there's one step that we're gonna do before we transfer to the Canson paper, and that's tone our Canson paper. After I put my tape around the edges of the Canson paper, which the tape is set at 15 by 18. I measured it out uh, with a ruler just to make sure that, uh, that it was the same size as my drawing. And you want some a little bit of room on the sides here to hold on to. So um, my, my original paper was cut down from 19 by 25 or so to about, it was about uh, 18 wide by about 21, 22. You just want to make sure that there's enough space around, do the math, and uh, you want some finger room. Now I'm going to take 
vine charcoal or willow charcoal, it's basically the same thing. And I'm putting it everywhere. I'm gonna fairly lightly drag across the surface of the Canson paper. I've checked to make sure that this is the side that I want with a charcoal pencil. Uh, the other side had the little bubbly round holes. I didn't want to fight that throughout the drawing, so I wanted the more of a random texture. So just about done here with the initial layer of vine charcoal. This is a soft vine. It's it's not a hard vine. It's it's going to blend in really nicely. Same with uh, vine or willow. Whatever you have is probably fine. Some things work better than others. I think the soft vine or willow works better for this. Now it looks a little uneven. It looks a lot uneven. But what we're going to do now is I would recommend a tissue or your fingers. You could even use if you're wearing a glove like this. You could use that. But I'd recommend a tissue and then just blend it in. That's a nice dark rich value background to start with. It actually is probably a little bit darker than I usually like, but it's soft. It, it erases out really easily. Now there's a little bit of excess on here, excess powder, which I want to get rid of, so I'm going to take it over the trash can and get rid of it. So now we're going to transfer our drawing that we just put the charcoal, the compressed charcoal, on the back of this drawing. Still there, there's two layers there. Um, I was able to see through well enough to be able to place it just inside the edges of the tape that's there. The tape is around the outside. This is the toned piece of Canson. We always tone it if we're going to transfer the drawing and we want a, a toned background. We always do the background first because if you t transferred the drawing to the art paper and then you toned it and then you rubbed it in like I did with the tissue, your drawing would disappear. We don't want our drawing to disappear. Okay, So start at the top, start anywhere, and follow the contours the best that you can. I'm using a different colored pencil to do this. I would use a colored pencil or graphite pencil and not a charcoal pencil for this. You want it to be smooth. Um, I wouldn't usually recommend an ink pen for doing this. It gives you a little bit too much of an incised line and a heavy line. Now at the very beginning of the drawing, or the transfer, sorry, I just want to make sure that it's taped down really well because I want to lift it up and check just to make sure that it's transferring okay. And it is. It's transferring really lightly, but that's okay. It's transferring and I can see it. That's why we tape it at the top so you can check. Check at the very beginning of the drawing, of the transfer, because if you go ahead and do the whole thing, uh, before you ever look at it, you might be surprised there's nothing there. If uh, you check your line, and when you check like this, you don't see it, you can still, it's taped up, you can lift it up and put a little bit more compressed charcoal on the back of this. You can tape so you can pull it backwards and put more charcoal on the back, okay? Just finishing up my last few transfer lines. Almost always miss something, so that's why it's really nice to be able to have this tape down. Yep, missed the rib cage. That looks like it's it. Now what's going to happen here, if you don't go over your line at least a little bit, is you'll probably, it'll probably disappear as you start working on it. So what I usually do at this stage 
is take either a Conti pencil or a charcoal pencil. This is a Prismacolor charcoal medium. We're working in charcoal, so that makes a lot of sense. Um, and try not to get your hand down on the surface, but I'm just gonna go over everything that I've transferred just lightly. You don't want a black line at the end of the drawing, but then again, you don't want to lose your entire drawing either. Just going over the last few lines with my charcoal pencil. Just want to make sure that it just doesn't disappear as I start working on it. And everything's been covered now with just a light layer of charcoal pencil. So hopefully you can see that and see what it looks like. Okay.